Hello everyone, I'm Kristen Gerhardt and welcome back to Expose. Zach's on vacation this week so we're filming in my room. This is where the magic happens. Literally, where the magic happens. <laughs> Let's get into the news. The Chicago History Museum has opened a new magic exhibit. The exhibit will feature storytelling, magic artifacts, and performances including Walk Around Magic. The exhibit is set to open January 6th and will feature new performances from local acts each week. So if you plan on attending, check the schedule and have a blast. Penn & Teller will be inducted into the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame come 2013. They'll join the ranks of David Copperfield, Harry Houdini, Siegfried and Roy, and Milt and Bill Larson, so congratulations to them. We have a first look at James Franco as Oscar Diggs in the upcoming Oz, The Great and Powerful, also starring Mila Kunis, Rachel Weisz, and Michelle Williams. This is a prequel to the classic film The Wizard of Oz and is directed by Sam Raimi. It's set to hit theaters in March 2013. Melbourne's Magic Festival is set to open July 2nd for around 10,000 attendees and will include recent Magic Castle Award winner Helder Guimarez, who will be performing his one-man show as well as a Magician's Only Lecture. For more information on this awesome festival, check out MelbourneMagicFestival.com. And that's all for me this week. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. You should like end with like a massive anaconda. Do you want me to undress? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Andre Jick here. Hi, I'm Michael James. And we just got back from Ohio, Cincinnati from Bicycle at the United States Playing Card Company shooting some projects with them. And now that we're back, we can get started. So let's do this. Here's Expose. So as you may have noticed, Zach is gone. Well, there's a simple explanation for that. He's in our trunk. Taking him to the desert. Just to discuss a few things with him. <laughs> He'll be back shortly though. We're taking over. So just last Friday, we released the Vintage Heritage Playing Card Series, and they look unbelievably amazing. Yeah, there's uh, four different decks, uh, very limited. We have the uh, Lotus deck, the Acorn deck. And we have the Automobile number two back, the red, and the Nautic backs, the green design, and they look absolutely stunning. They're great. I mean, the colors on these are super bright, very vivid. Uh, the blues are really, really rich. Um, the designs are awesome. We love them, the quality is great, they handle amazingly, and on top of it all, they come in this awesome uh, banknote carrying bag made out of jute. biodegradable jute material. Jute. So it's a nice little package that you get, and that's something we really like and play around with. So we hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Yeah. So Blake Voigt is coming in from Houston, Texas to shoot a top secret project with us. Uh, it, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's very visual, very straightforward, and in my opinion, probably the best effect that he's ever put out. And it's not one of those things you're gonna do all the time, but when you do do it, it's gonna be unbelievable. It's like the atom bomb of magic. We love it. Yeah, so get ready for that. We'll, we'll have more details coming soon. Just these past few days, Bicycle posted a hand-illustrated deck design on facebook.com forward slash bicycle cards. Yeah, a lot of you guys were wondering if it was actually the Rebel playing cards, but actually this is a different deck uh, designed by Theory11 in collaboration with Bicycle, and it, uh, it looks really, really cool. Yeah, very stunning. The box is very tricked out. It's got gold foil and it's got other elements to it that I've never seen before. It's a very pretty deck design, something we would totally use, and uh, we'll be posting more news and info about it in the coming few weeks. So that's it for this week. Hope you guys have... Okay. <laughs>